guys, I thought I would do a little bit of a different video today. I ordered a planner and I thought I would share that with you guys. So I ordered a plum paper planner. I ripped off the like opening tab thing, but we are going to open this up together. Um, this is the box that it comes in. I will say that I ordered mine on um, February 13th. Today is March 11th. So it took um, nearly an entire month to get it. So just account for that when you're going to be ordering. It does say on their website it takes three to four weeks. So um, like I said, just count for that when you're ordering. So there's the tab that I ripped off. And here's what comes in the box. It's actually the perfect size for their planners. So they did a good job selecting that. And it is wrapped in bubble wrap. Set that aside. And then your planner is wrapped up in cellophane, so we will take that off. And they do have their little plum paper emblem in there. And here is the planner that I decided to go with. You can choose all sorts of different covers for your front, um, and you can really customize it as well. So even if it doesn't say on their website, um, that say a design that you like has a monogram on the front, you can choose to request that they put the monogram on the front and what lettering that you would like in your monogram. So um, I decided to go with this gray and yellow print. I really love yellow. It's one of my favorite colors, if not my favorite. Yellow and purple are my faves. Um, so I put my monogram with my initials there for my name. I will not tell you what order that is. Um, and then I just had them put my name down here at the bottom. You can even specify um, if you would like all capitals or, you know, I just wanted my first initial capitalized and the rest of it in lowercase. So you can really um, customize what you want from the planner from there. It does have a really nice sturdy coil here at the sides. And I did order two extra months in my planner. So um, I believe this is the bigger of the two coils. Um, and you can request, I think, even more months than that. Um, and then this says up here at the top, it's a 2015-2016 planner. Um, and these start in the, I'm going to say like $36 range, but I did add a couple of things to it. So mine came out around $41 or $42 for my customized planner. Um, so when we open this on up, we'll have a look here at this together. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, and the pages are super smooth. Um, so here's the front page where you can write your information. Um, it does have the year at a glance. So here's the 2015 on both sides. And then I'm assuming, yes, here is 2016 as well because mine is a 2015 slash 2016 planner. It doesn't go all the way to December 2016, but I'm assuming they just provide that layout as a standard. And then I had my planner start in March because I was pretty sure I was going to be getting it in March. I wasn't sure when in March, but I decided to get it in March, um, even though I might be missing a couple days. So you have your tab here, uh, notes page at the front, and then you have your month layout here, St. Patty's Day. Um, and we are still pretty early on in the month, so I still have plenty of pages to use for this month. Then... Um, they have, if the week starts out partially in another month, they have those, those sections grayed out and then your section begins with the color of the month and the color of this month is green for St. Patty's Day. Um, and the format that I chose was actually the, um, the morning, afternoon, and evening categories with the daily columns. So this is what I thought would work for me. And then there's a little checklist section here at the bottom. They do have a weekly list over here on the side, the monthly little bit, and a note section at the bottom. This was the layout that most appealed to me. I felt like this was most functional for my life. They do have the family style planner where you can choose up to seven or eight different categories on the side. So I could have done YouTube and work and social life. And I mean, I could have done whatever categories I wanted. But for this year, I decided to go for the morning, afternoon and evening categories. So there is my March. Um, it goes all the way through the month. There we go. And obviously I haven't put anything in there. That's where the month ends. And then you do have a notes page here on the back. 
and then we go on to April. So April is pink. Again, same thing repeated over again. Um, May, June, July, August. Um, and then because I purchased a, um, let's see, 12, 14 month planner. So I bought two extra months. I want to say it was, it was really affordable for extra months. I can't remember how much it was, maybe $250 for extra months. Here we can see the tabs at the front here. They are very easy to read. They do separate the sections well. Um, one thing to note though is that the sections are not double-sided for the months. So for example, they say the months on this side, but once you flip past the months, if you wanted to reference back and be like, which one was March just off the top of your head? Um, it doesn't say it on both sides. You could just potentially, you know, do that and look at it, but just note that they are not double-sided. Um, the one thing that this does have over other planners is your ability to flip it open and leave it that way. Um, not all planners will allow you to do that, not the file effects. I'm not sure if the Erin Condren allows you to do that, um, but this one certainly does, uh, which was another thing that was really appealing to me. And then the um, back cover matches the front as well. I really love um, how this came out. To me, it's it's on a decent card stock. Um, I'm pretty sure the page protector is going to do its job in keeping it safe. But I love yellow, I love gray, and this to me looks even better in person than it did online. I just think it looks absolutely beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. Finally seeing it in person all come together with my personalized monogram and my name on it and then the color scheme. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. This was completely worth it. And at the back here, let's see what there is. Okay, so mine goes through April 2016, which is actually my birthday month, so that's awesome. So then the sections at the back, at the very end of it, it does have a special dates section with just some open-lined months, um, contacts, uh, holidays for 2015, 16, and 17, which is fantastic, just some general U.S. holidays. Um, a 2016 calendar. I did in fact order some stickers, um, just some like page tab stickers. I thought they were going to come separate, but they actually come like bound into the book, which is pretty neat. So I paid extra for these and you can purchase as many as you like. Um, there is a little for keep section if you wanted to just throw something on in there, you can do that. Um, oh, there's two of them. That's fantastic. And then, of course, again, you have your back cover page of the book. So, um, I plan on doing some planner updates. I really want to make some organization of my life. If you guys are interested in seeing a sticker haul, I did uh, purchase some stickers online and a couple other things for my planner. But, uh, yeah. I am totally in love with my plum paper planner, um, just from the looks of it so far, and I look forward to really putting all kinds of wonderful things in here and planning my life for the next um, year or so until it's time to buy another one. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day as always. If you have questions, comments, anything, leave it down below, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Bye!